We're here today with reality TV star and host, Janissa Bermudez. How are you? I'm good, how are How's you? It to be here? It feels so great, uh, particularly here in the university because today was a very special day for me. I feel so blessed and excited and the feedback so far seems to be just overwhelmingly beautiful. You're currently one of the hosts for Stand Up and Deliver Hollywood. Why did you decide to become a TV host? It was something I actually fell into because originally I wanted to go into the theater and, and be an actress and growing up in New York City, you know, the great white way as they call it in Times Square, you're influenced by that, by the lights, by the city's energy, by all those amazing things. And it was an opportunity, I went out on a casting and I gave it my all. I ended up booking the job and I was, I think I'm still shocked to this day that I did. And everything sort of snowballed from there and I fell in love with it. In your reality TV program, Empire Girls, which documented you and Adrian trying to break into the entertainment industry, one of the biggest obstacles that you were required to tackle was toning down your accent. Yes. Is it difficult to embrace your heritage as well as, you know, appeal to the American majority? It is and it can be because sometimes you have to be what I call a watered down version of whatever it is that they want and it's unfair because if they really want something that's genuinely authentic and whatever your background is you shouldn't have to yeah I understand modifying a couple things and editing for purposes of people across the board being able to relate but if it comes from a real place I think you shouldn't really have to um, tone it down to the extent that I feel like sometimes America really wants you to. They've had a taste of fame. AJ Ballon has left the building! It's a big moment. Now these two best friends are taking life to the next level. You mentioned your aspiration of having your own TV show on Empire Girls. Yes. What type of production did you have in mind? Um, I would want it to be a talk show format and really informative, particularly for women, young women. I would love to have experts on, whether it's doctors, psychologists, you know, really um, divulge into real issues, current issues, um, media, just all the things, and of course have it be fun because yeah. it's pointless if you're not having fun. <laughs> <laughs> what advice do you have for students who are aiming to work in the entertainment industry? One of the things that I always continue to say is just start wherever you can. You know, this generation has such a huge, huge advantage that sometimes I don't even take advantage of because I am been so traditional and since in this business I've been already in it 10 years, back then when I started there wasn't social media at its peak where you can really blow up and become a star just off of the internet. So take advantage of that. So network. Yeah, yeah networking, starting there, um, getting out there. If you can start locally, wherever, if you want to be an actor, start in the theater, whether it's sweeping the floors, you're going to pick up some, you're going to pick up something literally and, you know, figuratively around you because people, you, you're, you get to approach things with an open mind and a willingness to learn. And if you have that, then you can really take whatever your goal is and your dream and make it happen.